Good morning. I'm pleased to speak to you today. Last year, I spoke to you in person and it was a joy uh, to spend time with you. This time, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we cannot meet in flesh, but uh, we want to thank God uh, for technology that allows us to still meet. Uh, and uh, I, I'm really pleased uh, to be with you uh, this morning. Uh, I want to begin by thanking Pastor Gary Yeo, my dear classmate and friend from High School Clang, uh, for inviting me again to speak uh, to you. Uh, Gary and I uh, go back uh, you may remember, I, I told you this last year, uh, we go back to the days when we used to play football barefooted, uh, playing high school field, uh, which is still there, I, I'm, I, I think it's still there. And, um, and in fact, I think we also would have played in the Cheti Padang, which is very close to your school. Uh, I also wish to thank uh, uh, the principal and the teachers uh, for allowing me to speak to you. Uh, but above all, uh, we all must thank God uh, for this day a, day, a day that He has made for us. And uh, we are all glad for this day that He has given us. And the Bible says that the steadfastness of the Lord never ceases. His mercies have no end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, God. What that simply means is we are truly blessed that uh, we have a God in heaven. right? And you know, let me tell you this as a guarantee. He, get, he cares for all of us. He cares deeply for all of us. He knows that you know we are not perfect. You know, we, we make mistakes, you know, we, we fall short of what is expected of us sometimes, all of us, you know, you, me, you, know, you in school, me in office, this is my office, but never mind. Despite all that, he is still faithful, he is still true, he is still our God, and he will always, he will always care for us, right? Uh, I thought I want to start with that, um, you know, and uh, assure you that, um, that you know, you, I, we are not alone in this world. Yeah, we have our parents, we have our friends, we have our teachers, you know, we have our colleagues, but ultimately, you and I have a God, all right? We have a God, all right? And uh, that to us is the most comforting, most comforting thought to have that you have a God in heaven who cares for us. Now, when we were thinking, when I was talking to your uh, teachers and uh, to actually Pastor Gary, about what I should share with you today, uh, and there were so many topics, you know, uh, I believe I'm speaking to students from Form 1 to Form 5, I think. Um, so many of you uh, are different stages of your secondary school education. And, uh, and you, you are going through your own experiences, your own challenges. Um, rest assured, uh, we have all gone through that. You may think, but sir, that is different. Your time and my time are very different, you know. Um, but um, we have all gone through that. And um, you must enjoy your secondary school education because it's a very special time in your life. You, you make some friends uh, who are lifelong. Look, me and Gary we go back to the 1970s and 80s. It's a long time, all right. And uh, these are friends for life, all right. But you know, the past three months 
in Malaysia since the 18th of March has been different for all of us. All right. uh, not not just you in school. You, you you didn't have to go to school. School closed, but you know our offices were closed. You know we we couldn't go to work. Uh, we couldn't go to school. Obviously, no schools. In fact, we could hardly go out. Correct. You know, uh, we were just encamped in our homes, uh, virtually like in a prison. Yeah, but not a prison. Huh? Your home should not be a prison. All right, should not be a prison. But uh, that was it. You know, I can tell you, uh, I have never seen anything like that in my life. You know, uh, certainly not when I was growing up. Uh, you know, when you know everything was so free as it is for you, you can come and go anywhere you want. In fact, it's easier for you. <coughs> you have more of transportation, <coughs> and you know, the <coughs> the ability. To, excuse me, the ability to travel. You know, it's uh, something that you can do so easily, you know. But, you know, from the 18th of March and right up to just recently, uh, we had the uh, MCO, right? And then the MCO was slightly uh, lifted, right? And uh, we couldn't just move. Now, quite apart from the fact that, you know, we, we were just in our homes and it, the everything around us has just come to a stop or right, something it's like you know when you you watch a movie you press the pause button and when you press the pause button the movie doesn't carry on it just stops there so everything had come to a stop and uh, it's uh, unnatural not something that we any one of us are used to right but we couldn't there was uh, such uh, there was prohibitions that mean meaning that you know, we were prevented from going out for our own sakes. And we were told that that is the best way to do to, to prevent the spread of this virus. Because we were dealing with a virus, and we are still dealing with the virus. It's called COVID-19. All right? And it's a virus that people really don't understand yet. All right? So many of us were fearful that this COVID-19 virus would infect us. We didn't know how we are going to be infected. You know, some say it was in the air, you know. Some say, you know, it could even be in, a, in the letters that you get, you know, and, and there were all this. And until today, I can tell you, people are not very sure how this virus is spread. So, you know, it, it was a sense of great fear that the virus would infect us. Uh, it would infect our family members, infect our loved ones. And, you know, we, we really um, recoiled in fear, right? And there's a sense of hopelessness. The world is going to come to an end. That's kind of feeling, you know. The sense of uh, depression, you know, because we don't seem to be able to enjoy all the things that we do. You know, for the many of you who love outdoor sports, and I hope you love outdoor sports because, you know, that, that is so important. That's such an important part of growing up that you must be outdoor. You know, you must play the games under the sun and enjoy it. I, I just hope that I can't see you. I hope all of you, are, some of you are not sniggering and laughing and saying, what's wrong with this old man? You know, but I'm not very old. But, uh, and say, what, what, what is this? You know, um, we are more happy on our mobiles, all right, on our computers, playing computer games. No, no, please, you must go out. All right, you must get the sun. Nothing like that, all right? But, you know, for us, you couldn't do that. You couldn't even go for a jog. You couldn't even cycle, you know? So it's a sense of, Life has just changed, right? Life has just changed. And the question is, how long is this going to go on? Because at that time, nobody knew. And still, we don't know, but thank God, and we want to thank God truly, that we have come to a sense of normalcy. We have uh, the ability now to move around. But uh, for some time, that was not there. And so we were all very anxious anxious that you know that uh, life is going to change in a way that we don't like it and in fact i think we still remain fairly anxious why because if you read the news and i'm sure all of you do and uh, you all you have access to news better than we had when we were growing up uh, the news is all bad news 
There's so much of bad news out there. All right? You know, many people have fallen ill and many have died. You know that. And sadly, it's not over because around the world, the pandemic is still raging. You know, we can't travel, for example. All right? You can't uh, travel to see anybody or you want to go for a holiday overseas. You can't simply because borders have been locked down. All right? And many people have died and continue to die on a daily basis. And it's very, very sad. It's very sad. You know? uh, if you look at the United States of America alone, uh, they are still recording very high numbers of people dying. And you know, that is not something that, uh, that uh, we can accept. So that is the very bleak scenario that uh, we are faced with. So this morning, when you know, we were thinking of what we should speak about, uh, what I should speak about, uh, you're really wondering what is in your minds. Are you worried for yourself? Are you worried for your family? Are you worried for your friends? Are you worried for your future? You will look around and say, things are not the same like it was for my father, mother, my brothers. Things are changing so rapidly. Can I finish my studies without interruption? Will there be another lockdown, an MCO, another movement control order, and I can't go to school anymore? Will it mean that I'm going to be in school longer? You know, I have Form 1 to Form 5, five years, and if you're doing your Form 6, it could be maybe another two years. But with this, will it be maybe more than that? And how long am I going to be in school if this carries on? Is there hope? What is left out there? Can I, after I finish my school, get a job? You know, I always look forward to the fact that I can uh, dress quite well, go to an office like this, sit in an office, work in an office. But all that may be changing, no more. Because with COVID-19, the problem of COVID-19, maybe now we have to work from home and I don't like to work from home. You may, may feel that. You know, I, I, I don't think you're too young to have appreciated that things have changed. And much of it will remain like that. And you're worried. You're asking yourself, is there hope? Or is it, am I just damned? This, this life is no longer the same. It's no longer fun. No hope, no fun. Now first, let me tell you this, eh? and I tell you this with confidence, there is hope and there is a future for all of you. COVID-19 cannot rob you, it cannot rob you of God's perfect plan for each and every one of you. It's a different plan. Look at your friend on your left, your friend on your right. The plan for them and the plan for you are different plans. But take it from me, somebody who grew up in Klang, like you are growing up in Klang, all right? You know, not a very rich household. God had a plan for me. And I'm glad that plan has worked out for me. It will work out for you too. COVID-19 will not change that. Now, one of, the, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is in Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. I just want to read that to you very quickly. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. And it reads, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. What that simply means is, despite COVID-19, and everything that is happening in the world and everything that may happen in the world, there may be another type of a COVID-19, God forbid, or whatever happens in the world, we have a God who is in heaven, who is seated on the throne 
and he is in control of all things he's in control of all things all right now the other favorite verse i have uh, in the bible is in the book of romans chapter 8 and verse 28 let me read that to you too right romans 8 thank you and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose what does that mean that means what i said just now that god has a plan and it's a perfect plan it is a good plan for your future my future right it is a great plan so i want you to remember today as we talk about covid 19 and we talk about the problems of covid 19 god is in control he has got a plan for you all right and it's a good plan it's a great plan actually it's a great plan for you that is what you've got to look forward to so don't be frightened do not be frightened we have gone through different challenges when we were growing up we are okay you will be okay in fact we are more than okay because of god don't be scared nothing to be scared about you're only scared if you're alone you have god you've got your family you've got your teachers you've got your friends you are not alone no reason to be feeling depressed there is a lot still out there for you all right you know the bible recognizes uh, that in this world there'll be troubles because you know it is in jesus said this in this world you will have trouble but take heart i jesus have overcome the world so he's overcome everything the covid 19 problem god has already solved it don't worry about it whatever is happening now is a plan that he has so remember that remember that please you know we we are obviously your teachers your family anybody i'm a parent and your parents they're all very concerned about you they're concerned that you know you 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 are you're scared about what's happening you're frightened and you will slip into depression no no god is in control and he's got a plan and he will overcome covid 19 and it's a good plan for you but then you ask me why has god allowed this to happen why has god allowed covid 19 to happen and caused so many deaths illness and suffering to happen you know boys and girls ladies and gentlemen nobody has a hundred percent answer to that nobody knows but this i can assure you our god is not a cruel god he is not a god who acts he's not taking revenge on us he is not getting rid of the bad people on earth by using covid 19 no no uh, in the bible also in the book of deuteronomy i just read this very quickly to you uh, chapter 31 verse 6 and 8 we are encouraged by god to be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them all right he was talking about the amorites for the lord your god goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you that means anything that's against you he is with you the lord himself in verse, verse 8 the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. What a great promise that God will never leave you. All right? God will never leave you. What that means is that even in this COVID-19 times and these troubling, these troubling times, we are not alone. All right? God walks with us. He is for us. You have a future. I have a future. We all have a future. And that future is a plan. And that plan is a good plan. That plan is a great plan for you. All right. So I, I, I want you to look forward. Look forward. Put all this aside. Look forward. Carry on with your ambitions. Carry on with what you have in mind for what you want to do. It will happen. You trust God. It will happen so long as it's in His will. For you to for it to happen but you know we're leaving aside all this there are many good things there are good things huh? believe it or not huh? there are good things that have happened 
since the COVID-19 outbreak. All right, let me just speak about a few of them. All right, a few of them. Number one, family time. You know, because all outdoor activities have been banned and we've been forced to be at home and spend more time with our family, all right? We, we spend more time because we are at home, all right? It's something that we may not do otherwise. You go to school, you have your activities. We are very busy with life. Everybody is. I work long hours. I'm busy with life. But maybe COVID-19 is God's way of saying there is something very important that I have given you, mankind, and it's called the unit family. It is important because why? Why is family important? Family important is because when all else fails, your family is there. It is your family really that feeds and clothes you. Think of your mother or your grandmother. It's your family that encourages you, your parents. It's a family that supports you financially now. If I, my father didn't work so hard with a little income that he had and sacrificed so much, I wouldn't be where I am today. And that's family. That's also my mother. She didn't work. She was a housewife. But she sacrificed. That's family. You know, when you fall ill, when you fall ill, you're sick, who takes care of you? It's again your family. It's a family that comes from. So, you know, Maybe this is the time when God is telling us, all of us have been too busy. We think we are so self-sufficient. We can do everything ourselves. We are Superman and Superwoman. God is saying that what is important is family. Appreciate your family. Do not lose that family support that you have. That's one. The second thing is personal time. You know, maybe for you in school, you may think, what is personal time? I have a lot of personal time. But you really, if you think about it, Again, because we are so busy with, with every day, running from here to there, doing this and that and all that, uh, we forget our personal time. We forget what is good for us so that we will be he healthy, we will be active and live life well. And it's something that you have to learn where you are in school. The importance of resting, getting good sleep. Well, in your school, stress with assignments, stress with this and that, don't get enough rest. Well, lockdown, you're at home. You can get a good rest. God wants you to rest. Importance of eating well. I mean, many of you may not want to eat at home. You think, I prefer to eat outside and so on. But really, if you think about it, the healthy food is at home. You know why? Because it's prepared with tender, loving care of your mother or your grandmother or your maid. The food outside may not be so clean. The importance of exercise. You know, we were, we were all in our homes, you no choice but to exercise. And I've been exercising more. And I think I've, I'm better and I feel healthier because I exercise at home. You know, you put it, you put it part, of, part of your routine. The importance of hobbies, you know, which you have forgotten because again, you have no time. You're running from assignment to assignment, homework to homework and all that. Whether it is to read or something that you like doing. You know, again, we are being reminded that these are things that are important for us. They are important for you as a person, as you develop into an adult, a matured person. These are important things that you must have. So we have been reminded in this lockdown by God that I want you to take your focus about all these things that don't matter. Take it away. I'm just going to show you these are the important things if you want to live well. Most importantly, if you believe God, then you must spend time with Him. In this lockdown, you have no excuse. You will spend time with Him. Whether you pray or you speak to Him, He wants to communicate with you. The Bible says, draw close to me and I will draw close to you. Our God wants to have a relationship with us. He doesn't want you to be alone. He doesn't want you to despair. He doesn't want you to be depressed. A few other things I'll speak about. I'll speak about the fact that how, because COVID-19, the environment has become better, less pollution, less crime, less robberies, less road accidents, you know. If you look at it, then the entire surroundings actually needed a bit of a pause, of a break. Mankind needed a break. It's unfortunate so many people had to die, and people are dying, but mankind needed a break. And hopefully the earth heals, our surrounding heals. 
that's some of the good things that have come out of COVID-19. So I'm going to conclude, my time is up, by um, saying again that, you know, no reason for any one of us to be depressed, discouraged and to give up. No, no reason for that. We must have the right attitude. We must have a never say die attitude that despite all these challenges, I will be all right. I'm going to leave you with what the Bible says is the blessed attitudes. All right. What is blessed attitudes? It's in the book of Matthew and it's called the Beatitudes. And this is what Jesus said. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will, be, they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Have a good attitude. Despite all this, rise above this. You and I are stronger than COVID-19. You and I are stronger than any challenges that COVID-19 may throw at us. Why we are stronger? Because we have a God that backs us and He's with us. He's before you, He's behind you, He's next to you. The future is yours. It will not be taken away from you. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much again for listening. I hope this has helped. I hope this has encouraged. I hope this has supported you if you feel down. I wish you all the best in God. God bless you. Have a good day.